immediately after the presentation announcing DaVinci Resolve 20 was complete, there were whispers. There were comments on forums and social media. What did Grant Petty say about charging more for updates to Resolve? Among some people, there was a knee-jerk reaction extending all the way to, oh no, DaVinci Resolve is going full subscription. They're not. <laughs> But in this video, I want to go over exactly what was said, what further communication we have gotten from DaVinci Resolve, as well as touch on one other money tangential thing. That having to do with um, one of the big features that they haven't yet shipped for DaVinci Resolve 20, the AI set extender, which is, you know, generative AI in Resolve, or maybe in Blackmagic Cloud, we'll talk about it. But let's start with this big question about version 20. Will it be a paid upgrade even for DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 to 20? No. We are gonna watch this clip from the presentation, but first I actually want to go to a uh, post on the Blackmagic forums. Someone commented after the presentation, pretty much asking this question, being like, did Grant say paid upgrade? And Peter Chamberlain, the DaVinci Resolve project manager, did hop in to say, to clarify, version 20 release will be a free upgrade for current DaVinci Resolve Studio users. So nothing is changing for DaVinci Resolve 20. If you have an active license for Resolve Studio that you could have purchased any time in the past, it should still work for DaVinci Resolve 20. But now we can go back to this video um, to see what Grant Petty, the CEO of Blackmagic Design, if you didn't know, actually said. And there can be a little bit of ambiguity, especially with things like timetables or specifics or, you know, licensing issues. But I have already seen some people talk about any advanced notice for this kind of change is a welcome one. So let's let's just watch this video and talk about specifically what was said. As you can see, this is a really big release and there's even more features than this. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is a free is free to download. The paid version of Vin DaVinci Resolve Studio is also free. We'll probably eventually charge some kind of upgrade for this, but for the moment we're still doing the DaVinci Resolve Studio upgrade free. Now, I do think there was the smallest misspeak that I don't think anyone is like taking advantage of or anything. He did say that the DaVinci Resolve Studio version is free, but he means the update from DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 to DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. So of course, the free version is a free upgrade from 19 to 20, and the paid version, if you have paid for 19, is a free upgrade to DaVinci Resolve 20. But just making sure I covered that, let's go again and listen to the specifics. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is a free is free to download. The paid version of DaVinci Resolve Studio is also free. We'll probably eventually charge some kind of upgrade for this, but for the moment we're still doing the DaVinci Resolve Studio upgrade free. We'll probably eventually charge some sort of upgrade to a future version of Resolve Studio. Now on its face, I've seen a generally positive reaction to this statement. A lot of people bought an initial version of Resolve Studio years and years ago, and they've gotten all these new upgrades, all these new features. A lot of them, especially if they are using this to create paid work, would be happy to support Blackmagic Design, um, especially if you know a new future update is even more crazier than Resolve 20, which is hard to imagine. But understandably, there are still lots of questions. Obviously, how much could this upgrade cost? Would this then be moving to a model where each new yearly update would have a new smaller upgrade fee? Or would there just sort of be an arbitrary line where we've had a whole lot of updates for free, but at some point, like 22, 25, whatever, 20X, <laughs> above this point, you need a new license, and then that might carry over for a few successive generations. Some people have been saying some things like, it would be unfair if someone bought a studio license now and only got you know, like one or two upgrades, where some people have had upgrades for like 10 years. I'm a little less sympathetic to that, because that's kind of how a lot of these things go. I mean, Blackmagic is a company that has regularly chopped the prices of their cameras by significant amounts amounts and plenty of people have, you know, just recently bought those cameras and then they kind of miss out on a new future deal. But it goes the same with Resolve like it does with cameras and other projects. If a product is good for you now and you think the value is worth it now, then you shouldn't feel bad if you buy it. And then at some point in the future, for the people who will buy it later, it's a little bit cheaper. At least that's that's my thoughts. And just to clarify one thing about, you know, uh, maybe paying upgrade fees for successive updates, I would anticipate you absolutely have access to the version you paid for 
forever. You have that license. I wouldn't see Resolve taking that away from you. On the support page to Resolve, you can still go and download past versions of Resolve for like the past 10 years. So this could very well be the kind of thing where um, you can be satisfied with Resolve, but if you don't want these extra new features in the next version, then you can just kind of chill where you're at. Grant Petty has made it very known how he feels about subscriptions for creative software. He doesn't like that. I don't see that anywhere in DaVinci Resolve's future as long as Grant Petty is at the helm. If you appreciate videos like this, you should visit sterlingsupply.co. This is my website where you can download dozens of presets, plugins, and effects for DaVinci Resolve. Many of these presets are completely free. Several are paid premium products and website members also receive a bundle of those premium products along with exclusive extras like in-depth breakdowns of my newest presets. Why not check out my pack of drag and drop masks for the edit page? Easily choose from a variety of mask shapes or draw your own right in the viewer on the edit page. My ongoing work is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. I would love to hear all of your thoughts about this in the description, but we're not quite done because um, I want to talk about the other kind of money thing that was touched on, the new AI set extender. This is not in the current version of DaVinci Resolve. Um, let's watch specifically what's, what was said in the presentation about uh, this tool and paying for this tool. This generative process will automatically fill in missing regions of a frame, creating a finished environment in shots with blanking, cropping, and limited angles. You can also indicate a custom region to create a new background behind a selected foreground object. The AI Set Extender will be a Blackmagic Cloud service with details to be made available later this year. The AI Set Extender will be a Blackmagic Cloud service. And I think we're already seeing uh, kind of a model for this and the other things offered in Blackmagic Cloud. There's an increasingly wide array of them. In Blackmagic Cloud, you can create cloud libraries that you can invite people into. You can rent an expanding amount of online storage for all the files for those projects. You can even rent DaVinci Resolve Studio licenses. Some people are worried this is a move toward a subscription. I do not think so. Grant said in the announcement of this, maybe this was at IBC or NAB last year. He said this is for, you know, those larger companies that don't want to have this inventory of licenses they need to manage, but will just rent studio seats for as long as they need it for certain productions. But it's still an option. If you only need DaVinci Resolve Studio for a month, you can rent it for $30 instead of buying DaVinci Resolve Studio outright. But then if you need it in the future, you would then either have to start renting it again or, or buy that license. In this NAB presentation, Grant Petty talked about some of the new streaming features they added, which, which is a completely side story, but insane, so cool. But that will be a Blackmagic cloud project that will, he said will probably be like a few bucks a month for a um, sort of like delivery node thing, whatever he called that. So point of all of that being that this AI set extender will be a Blackmagic cloud service, but it looks like it will completely run in DaVinci Resolve. Now this is all the information we have on it so far, but of course this could also work several different ways. This could be a flat subscription where you can generate a certain number of images. We have other AI tools that I'm not super familiar with doing this in different ways where it's a subscription or you pay for like a certain number of tokens that can generate images. And as we see in the still here, we then retrieve image from the server. Blackmagic had said that several of their other AI tools do run all locally. Importantly, that AI uh, voice match or voice generator deal. That keeps all your information locally, but something like generating uh, these AI set extender clips, um, that will send something to Blackmagic Cloud that will then come back to your system. So obviously that sort of server stuff <laughs> operating on their cloud, that is something that they would have to charge an ongoing fee for. I'm shocked in general that like generative AI is coming to resolve. So um, I will probably have a video in the future talking about AI and Resolve and how we all feel about that. But kind of like I did say about the advance notice for maybe an update to Resolve sometime in the future being a paid update, um, even though we don't have this tool, knowing that it will be a cloud sort of like paid extra feature, um, I, I think is good to, to have as much advance notice on that as we can get. It's an interesting time. Of course, Resolve 20 is big, but lots of stuff is kind of changing in the background. Did you see some of these comments about maybe paying for an upgrade to Resolve? We know it's not coming in Resolve 20, but whether there are concrete plans for this or not, we also don't know. This could have just been sort of like testing the waters. But if DaVinci Resolve version 21 was an amazing, amazing update, how would you feel if you have an existing DaVinci Resolve Studio license to then have to pay a little bit more 
to get that additional version. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.